my fellow peeps, and welcome back to Ask Mason Velez Season 4. So, we're like uh, five episodes away from uh, from the end of this fucking shit show. <laughs> shit show. So, anyways, without further ado to our shit, uh, let's get on with those fucking questions. Okay, starting off with Bloody Vampire Animations 2077. Yeah, under his uh, username, uh, Bloody Vampire Animations 2071 is back. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, let's see, yeah, three separate comments out of this guy. And says, that's me on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's because uh, you responded on episode 75, man. And he said, I love you, my guy. Yeah, I love you too, man, but not in a gay way. But please do not be obsessive, um... Uh, unhealthily obsessive with me, man. And he also said this. Also, I love watching your videos. Well, thanks, bloody vampire. So, try not to get carried away, okay? Alright, Nicholas Peverty gave me this question. And he said this. Did you know I have a Samsung Galaxy A14? Uh, no, because I haven't, um... I haven't noticed until you told me, like... 14 days ago, or two weeks ago, Nick. Well, I'm glad you got your new phone. All right. Johnny's for life, 1697. Yeah, that's the, that's that guy's handle name. And his username, uh, Johnny's for life. Okay. So this user said this. No, uh, number one, any opinions on Jake Paul? Uh, my opinion on Jake Paul is... It's all mixed up between the good and the bad. And number two... Well, who's your least favorite music artist? Uh, fucking Taylor Swift. I cannot stand her. And what's your... Okay, that's number one, number two... Uh, sorry about that. Okay, number three. Uh, what's your least favorite song ever? Ah, uh, shit. Well... Uh, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Well, you know what? Uh, I really hate this fucking band. Actually, no, I don't really hate this band, but I do find this band overrated as fuck, and I cannot stand it. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't mean to say that to be sexist or nothing. But, um, but if I wanted to listen to a metal band that has anything to do with a woman playing vocals, I'd listen to Arch Enemy. Okay. Any of number four? Any opinions on Twitter? I fucking hate Twitter. Uh, Twitter is one of those websites that has satanic rituals on it, like uh, forbidding Christians uh, from going onto this website and shit. Oh yeah, uh, tw yeah. Twitter is also an anti-Semitic website uh, uh, for forbidding Jewish people from going on there. Uh, yeah, that's what I remember uh, back in back in the, uh, 2020, I think. Okay. Alright, what we got here? Our Todd of the Dragon Flare and gave me five more questions. Can't wait to hear can't wait to answer them. Okay, number one, who's your favorite blues clues host? Uh, here, his answer is Steve. Yeah, that's my answer too. Number two, what if Pencil Neck had his own Super Bowl commercial? His answer uh, it'll only be shown for just three seconds and never to be shown ever again. Or probably be banned before it even goes live on air. Uh, I'm, well, obviously the same thing. Yeah, except for one thing that, that after, um, after it's been recorded, the FBI, uh, is gonna hunt down Pencil Neck and gets rid of the fucking evidence advertisement that's gonna be too controversial for people to, uh, to bear with. Okay, number three. Which NBA team do you watch the most? His answer, the Memphis Grizzlies, because he lives in Tennessee. However, he do like the Chicago Bulls, too. Well, if I was an NBA... If I if I was an NBA fan, uh, which I'm not that much, even though I'm planning to get um, NBA Jam or College Slam on PlayStation, 
because they're arcade style. I would go for the Dallas Mavericks or, or San Antonio Spurs. Number four, what if Pensanek is trying to v find a Valentine? Okay, his answer is he will be rejected by every woman he tries to ask out. Yeah, obviously the same thing. Uh, but wait a minute. Uh, I know this sounds too controversial for most people to bear with, but I'm going to say it anyway. So I apologize for people in the LGBT com community if you find this uh, cringeworthy. Yeah, uh, Pencil Neck will, um, will get rejected by every woman. And uh, all of a sudden, Pencil Neck will get lucky um, yeah, with just one woman uh, who wanted to be Pencil Neck's Valentine. But all of a sudden, it's a transgender. And, uh, but, and if Pets, yeah, Pencil Neck, what does Pencil Neck uh, do? What does Pencil Neck does when someone uh, finds, if he finds out that the woman that he loves turns out to be a transvestite? Yeah, uh, Pencil Neck will vomit to death and he'll get sent back to hell where he belongs. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to say this to, to anyone who, uh, and to, uh, to offend the LGBT people, but. But this is what Pencil Neck is going to get for being homophobic and shit. Alright. Number five. Do you own any Pokemon games? His answer. A couple of them for his Nintendo DS, 3DS, and his Switch. Also, two of them for his Wii as well. Uh, no, I haven't. But I did. But I used to have... Um, but I used to have a Nintendo GameCube game that, that has touched the Pokemon franchise. And that is none other than Super Smash Bros. Melee. Alright, Oliver Hood asked this. Uh, hey, uh, Mason, what do you think everything will look like in the future? Alright, the difference between the, the real world and the Plotagon world. Alright, the real world is... I'm not sure uh, how is it going to look like. And in the Plotagon world of Texas... Everything is st everything will be fine just as long as Pencil Neck and and his red teeth bandits lose their freedom on their way straight to either jail or back to hell. And I hope childish dad uh, has a better life. Okay, Lork forever. Uh, six questions out of this guy. Okay, number one. What's your opinion on ISS? I have not heard of that. Number two, are you excited to this streaming miniseries named Knuckles? Uh, no, I don't because I haven't heard of it either. Number three, what's your opinion on villains? His, ans his answer... Uh, okay, I like this villains in my opinion because it has its own, this own skills and powers as well as the scenes, but an unredeemed quality is that the bad actions, including Trent Boyette, Dr. Eggman, Dr. Wily, Krula DeVille, Jabedia Brightman, Headmistress Helga, the Rat King, Terrence, and others were villains turned troublemakers. Yeah, I find them like halfway, halfway interesting and halfway overrated. Yeah, especially when it comes to uh, villains uh, having a grounded series on other people's go animate and uh, Plotagon worlds. So, um, so yeah, not all villains deserve. Uh, not all villains deserve a grounded series, in my opinion. So yeah, I like I like Devious Diesel, and uh, what else? I like Cell from the Dragon Ball series. I also like uh, Mike uh, M. Bison, and yeah, who else? Well, obviously Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, uh, Leatherface. Yeah, let me guess, Pennywise. Yeah, all those memorable villains. So. There you have. There you go. Number four. What if Pencil Neck was in Orion and Dark? Yeah, his answer. Pencil Neck obviously calls quiet and uncute because how Pencil Neck was jealous of him, uh, of them. But another has Pencil Neck disrespecting Orion, threatening with child abuse and abuse of power in the future, until the night entities came to kick Pencil Neck's ass for breaking the fourth wall on theaters and screens. Okay, number five. What's your opinion on Erica the girly Tommy Boy 98? 
His answer, he neutralizes user who needs help, but Erica doesn't handle swearing like Jack King 2K9. So he will remove the character requests to her as well, as well as he int loses interest to her as well. Uh, wait a minute, I didn't know that she cannot handle swearing. Well, swearing's a part of life, so we all gotta fucking handle that shit. So because of that, uh, I find her okay, I guess. But she's gotta fucking live in the real world. I mean, act like we live in the real world, world, because this is the real world where we have a freedom of speech to fucking cuss anytime we fucking please. Shit. You're grounded my ass. Alright, number six, what, what's your opinion on Godzilla Minus One? I haven't seen it, I'm just not that fan of movie stuff. Uh, for the present time that much, although I got jackass forever. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, okay. Stingy Maker, aka Devil Legend of Caliber, asked, Who'd be competent in a fight, Superman or Thor? Well, I have Marvel, um, Disney and Marvel vibes in it, alongside with Capcom, so I'm gonna have to go with the Mighty Thor. Okay, what's the most cordial and ergonomic pet you have in your opinion? I'm not sure. Uh, cats and dogs. Okay, Artada gave me another uh, another comment. Okay, his answer is uh, from the Beavis and Butthead question that I just asked him. Is yeah, he says no. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet because I've been so busy. But I will watch it when I have the chance. Well, I've watched the the late the latest season of Beavis and Butthead, um. So I wonder if they're gonna make more of them. Okay, Luca, the awesome Plotagon guy, two K eight gave me five questions. Okay. Uh, number one, and have you, are you excited for Godzilla and Kong, the new Empire, to come out on March 29th, 2024? His answer? Yes, because it might be so awesome and, and a cool movie. Well, yeah, it's gotta be. Just like Godzilla vs. King Kong. Number two, what if World War III starts? According to Future Wiki, World War III might start in 20, 2027. I think I need to find a safe country such as Austria, Bhutan, Bhutan, Canada, Chile, Greenland, Iceland, Ireland, New Zealand, Portugal, Singapore, Slovenia, or Switzerland. And I think World War III might be over in 2037 or 2040. Ah, oh, shit. I, I'm not sure whether it's whether it starts. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking second. Don't we have a World War III already, uh, which is the battle of between Russia and Ukraine? Is there? Okay, number three, what are your thoughts on Super Henry 2011? Okay, his answer is, is I used to like him in July or August 2023, and starting to hate him on December or January 2023, because he takes Ice Willow 9 way to the extreme. Oh my fucking god. Okay, oh my god. Super Henry 2011 is just being a fucking troll. He was just being a fucking troll for treating Ice Willow motherfucking nine like she's the spawn from hell, when, she, when really she ain't. Alright, number four, uh, what are your thoughts on Takis? His answer, mediocre, because it's too spicy for me. Well, I fucking like Takis, man. Number five, have you hearted my comment on your video named Pencil Neck Reads 8 Comments Episode 73, Gender Swap, Part 6? Uh, well, I should, man, because I really have no clue. Clue. Well, well, I'm supposed to, but I should say yeah. All right, Mikey verse official number one. What are your thoughts on Doctor Doom from t from the Fantastic Four franchise? I gotta say, Doctor Doom is one of the best memorable villains that I've ever heard. Number two. What are your most hated Marvel and or DC films? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I have one, uh, actually. Especially when DC films, because I have no answer for, uh, I have no, uh, 
uh, hate, hatred of any of the DC films or some shit. Okay, Ashley Anderson sa- uh, said this. No, I will never calm down. I cannot believe that Doraemon arrested me and sent me to jail for no reason. And Shaggy sent my bestie Oliver Hood to hell in Pencil Neck Reads Hate Comments episode 76. And the worst part is that my bestie Oliver Hood is going to get crucified as well. That makes me even more furious. Grah. You know what? I have had enough. I cannot take this anymore. Once the next episode of Pencil Neck Reads Hate Comments comes out, I'm going to get my revenge on Doraemon for arresting me and save my bestie Oliver Hood from hell myself. And I am so extremely furious at what Doraemon and Shaggy... Uh, Shaggy for what they did to me and all of it. And I cannot believe that uh, that he got crucified. This is so not fair. Oh. Well, here's an advice, Ashley. Please shut your fucking mouth! Okay. Animation Dude 95 uh, gave me five questions as well. And he said this. Hey, Mr. Soren Thunder. I hope you're doing well. Time to ask you some questions. Number one, have you heard about the tragedy in Kansas City? Are you talking about the recent one, uh, dude? Are you talking about the Hyatt Regency walk-away collapse because of so? Uh, man, that, that is one of the worst days that happened in July 17th, 1981, uh, where, uh, lo- where 114 people lost their lives and... 216 of them got lucky, but sadly injured. Okay, uh, number two. If you could travel to anywhere around the world, what would you go to? Well, that sounds like a good question. Well, besides Mexico, I I would love to travel to Canada, uh, Japan, England, uh, and also Germany. All right. Uh, Yeah, I would even travel to Ukraine as well. Okay, number three. What are your thoughts on the sweet Alabama memes? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't watch memes um, that often, but I did like the song from Leonard Skinner. All right, number four. What is your opinion on Dick's Sporting Goods House of Sports? Dick's. <laughs> oh come on! Now you're, now you're just making me laugh with that Dick's question. <laughs> Dick's. <laughs> yeah, one of the uh, one of the best uh, sporting goods stores I have ever heard, alongside with the Academy. <laughs> Dicks. <laughs> I would imagine if Putzneck would uh, would falsely accuse Dick's Sporting Goods uh, uh, as a fucking sex shop. <laughs> okay, uh, number five. Did you know that YouTube added new feature where you can now pause comments? It's the same as disabling comments, but the existing comments will remain, and you won't be able to post new comments. Uh, not really that much excited for that feature, to be honest. All right, my fellow peeps, that's it for right now. So I apologize uh, to Ashley Anderson as well for telling her to shut her fucking mouth, because she really needs to calm down for real. Okay, if, if any of you peeps got any more questions for me to answer, go ahead and apply. Uh, Started by next week. Until then, this is Mason Velez signing off. Thanks for watching.